And I think, I think people, that's what people enjoyed about the live show, because they could see that we were in the moment, and we, they could see that. I think Brent messed up his very first line, and if you watch it, his eyes go, and he's like panicking, and that's, that's so real, it's so nice to see, it's so nice to watch. It's, I don't think it's something you see on TV very often. It's like in SNL, some of the things that people love the most is when Jimmy Fallon was, was breaking, it's, it's the same thing. Um, I think I think it's it's like whack a mole. I think when one person's doing well, another person's kind of gets messed up. Um, but also, it's not it's not just about the whole dating thing. It's about how your friends can rally around you during those situations, which I, which I think we do very well because everyone's kind of friends in real life anyway, and they were before the show. A lot of the comedians knew each other, and the actors knew each other. Solid, but the other guys, Bianca, she, I mean, she goes every other line. Chris and Brent, you know, they're, they're like this. Um, I'd say I'm in the top three. I don't know about if I'm the most solid. Yeah, it's funny because before this show, I used to have a bit of a reputation for being the first one to break. Um, but I can hold it together for the most part of this one. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hey. Hi, David. I'm Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Two questions so that she can have her turn. Okay. Am I, Am I holding it? Oh, cool. Oh, I feel like a presenter. I used to host pub quizzes when I was uh, back in the UK, out of work. This feels like that again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How, how do I love it? Um, I love it because it, for me... Uh, because I come from a bit of a theatre background, it kind of it's a marriage of the two mediums of TV and theatre. Especially now that we're going live, it's it's a perfect marriage of the two. Um, so I love it, and it's also taught me to be a bit quicker on my feet when it comes to improv because the guys are all intimidatingly quick-witted. So I've had to play catch up with them. I'm married. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not even a gay man. So. Um, yeah, um, other than the fact that I was terrible at dating and very shy um, when I was younger, when I was dating, that's th I, the shyness and the terrible at dating is very similar, yes. Can I help you? You said two. I know I lied, I'm American. That's what we do. We lie to the world. <laughs> we fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> I've, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to me when it comes to advice about dating. Um, someone who had their first kiss is a dare. Uh, I would just, the only thing I can say, and it's very cheesy, is just take a risk. I mean, it's not going to kill you if they say no, so just take a risk. Hang your balls out there. Can I say that? Okay. Hang your balls, hang your spheres out there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Did you want the mic or a handshake? Okay. Thank you very much. You were so cute.